My name is Robert Whitwood and I'm the Managing Director of Inspired Change. In this video we're going to build on the basic uh, concept of the balance scorecard from the first video and take a bit more of a focused approach to looking at a professional practice and how you can use Drive and the balance scorecard to work towards operational excellence in your firm. Before we do that, if we just revisit the Drive concept again and think about what it stands for and how it can help you. So we have the letters D, R, I, V, E, D for direction of your practice, R the resources required to finance your practice, I impressing your clients past, present and future, V the vehicle to deliver your services and E the evolution which is about passion, performance and people in your firm. So if we think about how we can apply this to your practice, we need to consider the pyramid again. So below we've got the pyramid which has got drive, built up, direction, resources, impressing your clients, the vehicle and evolution engine. And we talked about how it's possible to drive strategy through this pyramid, but the performance is actually driven back the other way. So now let's look at a simple practice and think about how we can apply drive to that specific sector. So we've got drive building up down the side and at the top of the pyramid we're going to focus on the key goal which is driving earnings within the firm. The next thing is to think about the resources within the business and that's going to be a combination of financial management and return on investment. So we need to make sure that we're measuring both elements of the finance. The next very important aspect is the customer perspective and from a professional firm's point of view this will be the client. So we need to consider the services that you're offering to the client and how they stack up against the competition. We need to think about the image of your practice or your firm in terms of its history, its branding and position in the marketplace and then we need to think about the relationship with your client in terms of past, present and future. How you manage that, how you develop it and how you keep that going over a period of time. The next thing we need to think about is the vehicle, how you actually deliver your services to your client. Now we need to make sure that we're focusing on safety, environment and quality, even though this is a professional practice those issues are still about, although they might be slightly different to another sector, say for example manufacturing. We need to focus on performance within the service delivery, so how do you put service level agreements in place and how do you track those? both in terms of improvement but also demonstrating to your client how efficient and how good you are. We need to put some emphasis around support departments, back office admin and other areas that will support your practice and drive your organisation forward and without them you're not going to be able to succeed. Finally we need to consider the evolution engine. So this is not just about the technical skills and knowledge of your people but also their passion for driving the firm forward what you're doing to continually improve your services and how you're making those services much more accessible to your client base. So what we're now looking at is a simple balance scorecard approach to a practice or a professional firm and this can be applied to accountants, solicitors, chartered surveyors, architects, all of which could use this model to actually understand how they're performing in the different areas and what they need to do to actually drive their firm to another level. So just to finish, let's consider the benefits of using Drive for a practice. Well, I want you first to consider the impact of running an organisation based only on financial information. It's going to be like driving a car by only looking in the mirror. You need to be forward thinking and looking at other metrics. You need to want to performance in different areas. So you need to make sure that you're looking strategically at those areas that are going to contribute change. You need to make sure you're doing it consistently across all areas and you need to make sure that you're measuring the areas that are going to deliver performance improvement. If you don't do these things, you're working in a reactive organisation. So what we need to do is think about how we can use Drive to take your practice to another level. Thank you.